Hey, family, friends, and fellow gamers. Welcome to Grumpy Gnome Gaming. I'm the Grumpy Gnome. Here we go. Let's get into some Banished. Let's resume. And as you can tell here, it looks like our village cemetery got built. This one is a little more rustic looking than the um, vanilla cemetery and I think it kind of fits nicely with this setup here the kind of the old old area anyway uh, the funny thing is I don't know if it's funny or not but um, unless you're really into death we're already full and there's only 24 graves here so this was never really meant to be a serious cemetery one that's gonna hold a lot of uh, people but I'm thinking about maybe running a road or a bridge here, running a road out here, and then maybe filling in this area here with a, uh, a larger cemetery. And I think that's probably what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and um, are we even moving? There we go. Let's get some action done. Let's go ahead and bring a road out from this one. And what I would really love to see is the depth that we have here. And I'm having a feeling that tonight's going to be a good... No, here we go again. Stop that. Okay, let's go to right about there. And of course we can't see it because what other fun would that be if we could? And we were gonna take a creek plank. I love those little creek plank bridges. And we're gonna hop the creek maybe as low as we can go right down here. Is that good? Nope. We need to go a little higher. How about right here? There we go. And let's jet that into where is it come on there you are and I'm gonna get my road and I'm gonna jet it right there and I'm gonna come across like that and then where are you coming across at right there let's come across like this and then the last thing I want to do is run up to my road here so we got what is it 15 so that means we're gonna be able to go 13 deep with the cemetery unless we go higher and I think I'm gonna do that I think I'm gonna take the higher road here because I actually want to get a full-sized cemetery in and the full-size cemetery is going to be 20 by 19 so we're going to take this up to 22 and hit it we're going to take this across to 21 hit it bring it down to 22 I don't know if that actually worked or oh, there we, that's why there we go 22 and in a perfect world I'm gonna be able to drop in and you know I'm gonna go for the village one again because I really like the village one so I'm gonna go to my services I'm gonna go to my churches I'm gonna go to my village cemetery and I'm going to start right here in the corner in, in a perfect world. Where is my upper road? Well, I'm going to have to think. Did I do this backwards? You know what? I don't know what the heck I did. But 
We're gonna fix that real quickly. Away with you, beggar. You know, I can keep my northern road. Let's start over here. I can keep my bottom road and I can keep the left one. So I'm gonna come right to there and do this. Cha-ching. Now, let's get that cemetery going. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. Churches, cemeteries, and we're gonna start right here. And I'm gonna go 20 by 19. 20, and this is actually gonna be the first full-size cemetery. And when this is done, it should hold 144 graves. Make it happen. So that'll keep them busy for a while. Anyway, I went ahead offline and I picked three traders that had things that I wanted. So this dude here had lettuce. I don't know why I want lettuce. It's just I need to finish my... Um, we need to finish the salad bar. Let me just put it to you that way. So we're going to go ahead and hit that there. We're going to go ahead and do the 125 over here. Boom. There's our 2500. Trade it. Dismiss it. He's gone. Back that out of inventory. I think we're down to the coats. Dun, 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 dun. Right there, coats. Close you. We're done with you. What do you got for us? You have... What did I want? What did I want? Come on, Norm. Figure it out. Housewares. Silver. Did I want silver? I don't think I wanted the silver. I may have wanted... No, not at that price. There was only one thing I would have wanted at that price, and that's the cotton. 200. Now I'm going to give you 400 of my maple sap. Boom. There's an even trade. I probably should have grabbed the marble. And you know what? Come to think of it, I think I do want it. So... Oh my gosh, 1,100, half of that is 5,050, 5,500, something like, I think it's 5,500. Do I even want to do the math on this one? I don't think so. We'll do it later. When it comes to doing math, sometimes I'm like sharp, I'm right on it. Other times it's like, you know, don't bother me. Just give me a hamburger or something. So do it. Trade miss you back you out of inventory and that was maple maple where's my maple hey I'm gonna I'm gonna throw something out here for you guys I I'm hoping that for the 20 odd number of people who are watching this video I, I really do hope you took a moment to subscribe to this channel and you know what I'm not just going to toot my horn on this one but take a minute and check out some of the other banished players that are out there I did an episode a few back maybe five half a dozen back and I, I, I called out a bunch of people. And I'm not going to go ahead and repeat them because if you're into the banished community, you know who I'm talking about. But go ahead and give them a, a shout out also. Uh, support them. Uh, like the videos. Uh, subscribe to their channels. Because we really... Oh, well, here again, I'm speaking for everybody. But I really enjoy doing this even if it's just for family and friends and that that's really all I've got to say I've gotten a number of solicitations to um, 
get me a thousand subscribers for so much money. But you know what? I'm I'm not doing this as a business. It's more for friends and family. And you know, if if someday it does develop into something, you know, then let it let it develop on its own. Uh, I don't want to. I'm not using cheat codes, and I'm not using cheap subs. So here we go. What do we got? Sunflower seeds. What do we got? Five hundred times this. So there must have been something I wanted. Got it. Got it. Pumpkins. For some reason, I think I wanted both of these. Let's see what happens here. If I kick 500 into you, what's that going to get me? 4,000. So I'm short something. Maybe I didn't want pumpkins. Maybe I only wanted sunflowers. And you know what? Did I want the sunflowers because they're pretty? Or do I actually want to press them for oil? Who knows? But back you out. Boom, there's our 4,000. Let's trade it. Let's dismiss you. And back out whatever that was. I think it was linen cloths. Yeah, there we go. All right, man. That is the trading right there. Trading gone happy. Let's move on. Oh, what's our labor count? Hey, our labor count went up a bit. Good. That means get more builders going. I still have 305 things that need building. But what I started doing was running around and pausing certain jobs. Uh, mainly houses. And let me see if I can find an example of that. I think it was in... I thought I put these on pause. I don't think I need houses. Da 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 da. No, we've got an we've got a surplus of houses. So I am going to go ahead and put these on pause. I wonder if uh, when you do stuff offline, if it even saves or not. Because I really thought I did that. Now notice I've got this whole area here strung out for houses and barns. I figure I might as well just run it to the end. And if this is what they're wasting their time on, no, we don't need it. Man, can you imagine if all these houses got built? I would have really found myself in a conundrum. And I'm glad I caught this now before they got too far into it. Hey, those Frisians, whatever happened to those? You think they went to uh, went home to pasture, so to say? Let's find out. Because they should be right here below us. Boom. 8 out of 20. And you know what that means. That means that right over here in this district, we're going to get a new dairy set up. Oh my gosh. We got this area cleared. All right, let's hand of got it. Boom. Okay. Are you seriously not going to let me level this? I, You know, somebody else had this issue. I, I think it might have been Jibba. And he had floating trees, or somebody had floating trees. And then all of a sudden they miraculously just disappeared. But for some reason, something didn't go right here. So let's try this. I don't want to catch any resources. But there we go. That was the serious hand I got there. All right. And what I'm going to go ahead now and do is I'm probably going to drop animal pens along here. And that is going to make this a really interesting district. Because as I said before, down here, these are all reed farms. So we got 10 reed farms pumping out reeds. These are all the homes for the people that are going to be there. I've got one dock workshop that's being fed by all of this. And he's going to be making, or she, is going to be making rope. 
because rope is a good commodity for trade. It is 35 units per per rope, and um, yeah, it's good. It's good. I'm not going to do this right now because I'd rather do it offline because my anal retentiveness is going to kick in, or my OCD, and I really want to have it perfect. I am not one of those players who can just drop things and then make it pretty at a later date. Something's not right here. Why is that roof not matched up? Why? Because I probably put something in backwards. Or you just don't belong. Well, I could not have. Because that is one piece. <laughs> so, don't worry about it. See, right, right there, you know, there's a good example of the, uh, the OCD-idness. Kicking in. Okay, market, why don't you have somebody work in there? And you know what? All of a sudden, I'm down to two lab one laborer again, and I'm not going to risk losing my teachers. There we go. And notice, check this out. Oh, we... Um, we went from 301 down to 249 just by pausing things that needed to get built. This is a new hub, but I don't know where it is. And if only there was a way we can... Ah, I don't know if I wanted to do that. If only there was a way we can find out where the heck this thing is. But... We'll save that for something else. I guess I can just run around the map and look at things that I built. Why don't you have... Are you the one that doesn't have somebody? We want you producing. We want you producing. Did I'm, Am I losing farmers? Whoa, this is not good. Okay, nobody's a builder. Where the heck are my orchard people going? Or my farmers? Are they seriously getting sucked up? Let's go ahead and do a farmer check here just to see what's going on. Farmers. Farmer, farmer. Whoop. Farmer. And of course, farmer's not there. Is it like right at the top? Yeah, it is. 91 out of 91. Wow. I have, oh man, my, my big mines are gone. Not good. Not good. I need these in production because these are my high dollar items. Oh, on the note of high dollar items, let's just take a look at the statues for a minute by name. Oh man, if I lose my laborers, I'm going to have to pull people out of the workforce. No, I want to go here. And let's, oops, let's go all the way up. Come on, go up. Up, 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 up. Okay. Statues do have some value. You got four different statues in this game. You got wood, stone, jade, and then marble. And the last two, the marble and the jade, those are your money statues. And what I mean by that is jade statues, I've got, oh man, this is not going to tell me the value, is it? Okay. Do, 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 where's the trading post right now? Hey, should we see what they got? And then we can also find out the value. Let's go back out. Okay, nobody's there. Okay, here we go. What do you got? Cherry got it. Got it. Kale. Ugh. Don't judge me. Kale. Mm. Okay. Should we do it for the salad bar? Things I do for the salad bar. Okay, where's the uh, linen? 500. Make it happen. Okay. We're going to get kale. All right. What do you got? 
He's got yum yum. Uh, that is going to be my crop of choice when I do my Narcos um, adventure. Uh, the Narcos adventure is another one I'm going to do on a small map. And it may be a water world small map only because I want to represent an offshore like island, kind of like Norman K in the Bahamas, where the um, a famous drug smuggler was out there, or a drug runner, I should say. And um, they kind of used that island to stage their operations. And this is going to be the only thing I'm probably going to grow unless I can find something else that would be flagged by the DEA. I think that's it. Or maybe it's the uh, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms, the ATF. And, um, yeah, it's just going to be, it's the bad things. And I want to see if I can get my own little, you know, island in operation and see if we could uh, have that thing going. But for this one, you know, we're keeping it family friendly. So, dismiss. And what do we got here? Coats. Nope. What do we got here? Da 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 do 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 da 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 no thank you oh bronze statues check it out check it out check it out now I did not notice that bronze statues were a thing so we are going to let me get into one of my statue carvers see it it only shows these four. So my guess is that the bronze statues are probably made in one of the uh, foundries. So don't quote me on that, but that is my guesstimation. And a bronze statue will fetch you 270 units per statue. What you got? Trade, trade? Nope, nope. What do you got? Oh, on that note, you do know that we are getting into the trade animal business. So that was the other oh, tomatoes. We're going to do those. Those would go on a salad bar, even though personally, I don't like tomatoes. Silk cocoons. That's still not what we're looking for. And bear with me. I, I know I could order these, but once again, my arms are short. Okay. How about, yeah, we'll do the tomatoes. And uh, let's let's stick with linen. That seems to work for us. See, one after you start playing this for a while, you get to know just exactly how much of each commodity you need. Like, I know I need 500 of this to make the um, the cost of the linen. And people that do firewood know that 625 is the magic number and that is if your firewood is fetching you four units a piece uh, in some cases i've seen firewood that's only worth three units i don't know how i don't know why do we have cukes i don't know if we have cukes Do, 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 we do have cukes. Okay, don't need them. And did I just lose my screen? Ah, uh, man. Okay, no, that must be it right there. Minimize. No, that one was prop. Then where did my screen go from the one over here? Did I lose it? Kale. Minimize you. Come up here. Okay, and I think I had one more to check out here. Nope, that's it. We're done. Oh, we're going to look at the um, the value of the statues. So inventory. Uh, does this not tell me? Okay. We saw that the jade statue was worth 240 
And the marble statue is worth 285 each for each statue. So that is like awesome. So statues are also something really good to get into. Once again, the jade and the marble are your your high dollar statues. Uh, the wood and stone, not so much. Okay, I want to get them back up and running, but I just don't have the manpower to do it. Forest node, is this you guys over here? Let me see. Click on something here. Boom. Gatherer. Can't see my gatherer. Where's your forester? Take me to your forester. Okay, that's not you. So that's another node I have set up someplace else. Oh, this one's already built. Duh. Hello. Let's just go for... Is this it? Forester? No. Check it out. Still got another node around here someplace. Right here. There we go. Take me to your forester. And this one will probably get up and running before this one way out here. Only because, as you can tell, there is absolutely no population here. And we're still in the process of taking a huge chunk out of this mountain. I really need to craft this just so I can get precious mines on both sides. This area here is coming along nicely. And I really want to start getting people moved in down here. Three crop fields are all going to be for oats because this building right here is a new stable. So this area here is really going to be pumping out domesticated animals. And domesticated animals will trade for 250 units each. So there's another good commodity for trade. Um, you guys probably notice that I really don't like to deal with the nickel dime stuff that's only gonna fetch me you know one two four stuff like that there the only exception to that is the what do you call are we moving the only exception to that rule is the um, food. If I have if I have an excess of food, for instance right now maple syrup I've got 17k, sugarcane I've got 15k, then those are going to be you know, I've got no qualms whatsoever about dumping 5,000, 7,500 of those foods just not just to get what I'm what I want to purchase but because it will free up room in our storage okay guys I do see that I've got a lot of things that I can still man so on that note I probably want to start getting I probably should take the next nomads that come around. I'm, man, I, I know they're gonna... I've got a feeling... Oh, jeez, do you believe this? I've got a feeling that the next group of nomads... Do we have enough schools? I don't know how many schools I have. Let's take a look at the schools. For a minute. Schools, schools, schools. Teachers, that's a duh, hello. Six. Okay. Well, and I can't even add one because we are now down to zero. Six times 20 would be 120. So I really have room for 120 students. So we're still doing well. 
let's go ahead and drop a couple more schools in some other places. There's our 30 minute. So we're going to stop there. I know this district here has a school. So you know what I'm going to go ahead and do? I'm going to open this district up for business. And even though they can't build this yet, what they can do is start clearing the area and bringing the resources in. So we're going to let them do that. Shut you down. I think these are all houses up here and maybe barns. I notice our wood is still hurting. So right away, I'm going to come over here and unpause all of you guys so that they can just build you at the same time. Well, I'm going to do some offline planning and then I'll get back to you guys on that. Those are our houses and you are the gatherer. So you know what? Let's go ahead and actually call this episode at the 30 minute mark. And uh, yeah, we're going to get this area going. We'll get the next area going and then I will get back with you in the next episode. If you liked it, give me a like. If you didn't, give me a sympathy like. Be sure to subscribe and uh, tell 10 people. I'm Grumpy Gnome, guys. I'm out of here, and we'll see you later. 54321, stop. Bye-bye.